Hi guys, Tuva here. It is Thursday the 21st of July and we are waning moon in Taurus. Now Taurus is all about security and feeling great, having everything food wise and accumulating stuff. But in the waning thing, it's all about having parties and get togethers and family do's and all that sort of thing. So it's a very good stability sign, but also be aware that some Taurus energies can be very like a bull in a china shop so don't antagonize those energies guys enjoy it because it's very fulfilling and so we're going to leave it there and get straight into the reading i'm going to pour them all out onto the table and i just want to look at them all and get an idea of where I'm being sent because I feel Freya very strongly today and I think she's telling me to just pick the ones actually that are turned over. I do believe she does like sometimes the secrets behind stuff and so these are all turned over and we don't know what's under there. A shape is coming into my mind. I do believe that the shapes mean something. I'm going to just follow my guidance because there's reasons for everything. And that is definitely the snake reading. This is definitely the ancestral reading. And this, I would say, is the triangle of life. Always the circle is ancestral. The triangle is the three points of life, the three stages of life. And in the middle is the path of life, the serpent, the dangers, things that come to mind there. Now, I'm not going to be using all of these runes. I'm going to ask Freya which one to pick out of each one. So I'm going to put my hand, my left hand, over this and see what one she wants me to pick. And it's very cold here. I'm going to take that one and put it to one side. The first one. Is it this one or is it this one? Which one should I go for? And so we have this one, put that one there. Sometimes they use patterns to help in readings, guys. So I know it sounds and looks a little bit weird, but this is how I actually work. Let's go over this one and see. This one, right. Okay, I have my three rooms now. So we have Othala or Othala. The rune of family at home, gaining things, acquiring things. It's quite a lovely rune, really. It's about hereditary land and possessions, home, homeland, definitely the hearth and family, ancestral country. It's also about your generations, and that's funny because we was talking ancestral. So this is talking about your past of your family, the characteristics and generations that you will have come from and you will pass on to your children. And it will represent the strength that has been gained from your family, lifetime after lifetime, way back into your ancestral past. So Athala isn't just about now, it's about your past and your future. Fixing a goal in your mind and then attracting the energy you need to make it become. And I've always said, thought made word made deed. What you think can be manifest. Don't try to force it though, because it's like anything in life. If you want something so badly, sometimes you don't get it because you put too much effort into it. And so what it is saying is look in the past, look how your ancestors did things in the family, look how things are done now and see if you can gain any insight from the past to aid you in a turn over the next one. And that is La Goose, the water room. And I always see water as emotion. To me, it's all forms of cleansing as well but it's a moving one because it ebbs and it flows just like water it also helps you to stick on to something i always see that as the pick of salvation that you can bang it into something and hang on for dear life but sometimes you mustn't hang on and that's the thing here 
um, because you need to attune yourself to who you really are because you're one of a family doesn't make you the same as them you are a person in your own right and to get your emotional balance you need to learn who you are guys everybody has areas of their life where they're not in harmony and this is telling you look at your lifestyles look at what's going on around you and try to get yourself balanced it's very ancestral and it's family tied but is there something that you're doing but it's not helping you so you need to get a balance you need to look and suss about what's actually going on you need to be fluid in your thoughts water it doesn't stay put it's always moving and so must you because if you don't it will lead to a stagnation you all know what it looks like and smells like when you've had flowers in a vase and the water's gone that horrible color you take the flowers out and it really is awful the stench and this is what can happen to you as a person you need to continuously change that water keep flowing keep moving don't let anything stagnate in your life and embrace change as well guys you really do need to be able to learn to change and embrace things that's going on but again always look to the past because we learn so much from our ancestors seek their advice spiritually find out who you really are because that will aid you in your future and future generations so let's go on to the next one now and we have there is as okay and that's pretty much a warning about chaos temptation bad things it's a thorn in the side like storms that come they do go eventually but while they're there they can do terrible damage and you know the god that is associated with this is thor and his hammer the Olnir. and he's a protector but he's also very powerful he's always working with chaos so we know that there's a warning in this because we don't want things to spoil the energy that we're receiving we need to be powerful within ourselves to face anything and fear nothing you have that authority within you use it use it in the right way use it with your love use it with your honesty and integrity you know this reading doesn't look like it should tie in the serpent around the earth in Norse mythology it was there to attack not safeguard us Thor was always keeping us safe from it and this is what we need to do we need to realize that this is a warning that we can stop ourselves from moving on if we allow it to take over so be positive guys put it in its place and allow change and movement to enable you really happy this reading is quite a good reading for Thursday so I'm going to leave it there guys hope you enjoyed and I will be back again tomorrow so wherever you are whatever time of the day night or evening it may be I wish you the best ever House of the Lang.